this is the Amir Wheelman. Um, it's the 110 volt version, which lets you use a poly drum. And it's on the optional stand kit that they uh, have for it so that you can use it to dump into wheelbarrows. We bought it because I've struggled with these, um, trying to get them to dump into wheelbarrows. It's always a pain. So uh, we make sure that, wanted to make sure that everybody who's using it has as simple of experience as possible. And plus, the dump kit on this is so simple, it's kind of hard not to fall in love with it. Let me just quickly show you the engine system on it. Um, you can hear the, I'll plug it in so you can hear the engine as well. This is a, this machine is not set up GFI, so you have to attach it to a GFI circuit if you're working around water, of course. But here's the engine. Nice, quiet machine. And let me show the inside of the, and it has an attachment here, of course, so you can hang your cord. And it's kind of a small detail, but to me it's an important one, especially when you have a rotating piece of machine, you want to know where your cord is. So that's kind of a smart feature. Look at the inside of the poly. The locking system is pretty cut and dry. Once you set it up, you don't ever need to reset it again. A poly drum is easy to clean. And the piece de resistance is the dumping system. So I'm just doing this with two hands right now, just pushing it up, and you can see how easy it is to dump. Here's what makes this machine a seller for us. First of all, if you're doing one-man dumping, you can now lock it in dump position while you're working it. And you can see where they've used the axle of the machine to slide onto this portable um, stand. And so the simplicity of loading and unloading this onto the jack stand is really easy. It does require two people to do it. And you can see that the jack stand as well can also be compressed. You pull your cotter, print and, cotter pin and push it together. So you have a rollable portable machine as well as a jack stand workable machine. The machine does uh, 225 pounds of material. That's its maximum that you can put in it. So it certainly take 280 pound sacks of concrete no problem. Um, the temptation is always to push that volume as much as possible when you're doing it, but to get a thorough mix, it's nice to err on the side of caution, and it's really easy to clean up as well. I hope you like it as much as we do.